Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna do an empties video for you guys. So basically products that I have used up over the past couple of months and kind of just give you guys my thoughts on each product, would I repurchase it, stuff like that. Um, and just tell you guys what I thought about it um, and just in general. Um, small update, I got my nose pierced the other day, which is why it's still kind of red, um, as you can see. Um, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to. I was prepared for it to hurt kind of bad, but it really honestly didn't hurt too bad. But I'm going to try to go through these products fairly quickly because I do have a lot to talk about. Um, and I'm just going to start like in the order I would normally do my face. Um, I have a good bit of primers to talk about today. So um, first is my Maybelline Master Prime and Blur and Smooth. I actually have two empties of these and you guys have seen this before on my channel. This is my all time, well... This is one of my Holy Grail products. Um, I really love this one. Um, and I've used up two. I mean, it's been a while. I've kept these empties, you know, just putting them in a bag to the side when I use them up all. Use them all up. Uh, again, you'll probably see Lila running around behind me. Don't mind her. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my first one that I have. Um, and I totally, you guys know, I totally suggest this for you. And I will be repurchasing it because it's one of my Holy Grail primaries. Um, and I haven't bought another one yet, but I will probably really soon. And I totally suggest buying this. It's drugstore. A lot of this stuff, actually all of this stuff is drugstore that I'm going to show you guys today in the empties video. I have two primers from NYX Cosmetics. Um, I have the NYX Hydra Touch primer that just looks like this. It's a pretty big tube and it's really good, especially if you have a dry skin. I would highly suggest getting this one. Um, the only kind of it's not necessarily a bad thing the only thing that i would rather have out of this primer i didn't notice that it makes my made my makeup stay on longer per se but it did really moisturize my skin and it was kind of it left my skin kind of taggy so my foundation stuck to it really well but it didn't really do as well as like say my maybelline one as far as making my makeup last longer so it's really affordable and really good still nyx makes really good primers um, but I, I mean, if you want more of like a longevity primer, I would go with the Maybelline one. This one is a lot more hydrating though, and it's super good for hydrating. The other NYX primer that I have is the NYX Pore Filler, and it looks like this. It's really good as well. Um, this one, it's not really hydrating at all, actually, but it's not bad for dry skin. It just isn't, the purpose of it isn't to like hydrate your skin. However, it is very, very good for smoothing out your skin. I would compare this to the Professional by Benefit. Um, it's, it's really, it's more of a silicone base. So like it does feel kind of strange when you put it on your face. But, um, so if you have dry skin, I would suggest putting on a moisturizer before you put on this primer because it's not moisturizing at all. But again, it's not like bad for dry skin, but it's just not gonna help you like Put moisture in your face and in your skin. Still really good and NYX makes really good primers. Actually, I lied to you when I said the Maybelline one was my favorite. I would actually probably say I like this primer more than my Maybelline one, which is saying something because obviously I have two empties of it, so I love it a lot. But this is the... I'm sorry if you hear her chewing on her toy in the background. Um, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer. Um, you guys know if you've watched my channel for a little while that I love the brand um, NYC Cosmetics. I have a lot of the stuff from their Smooth Skin line that this primer is from. I have the Translucent Powder and then the Smooth Skin Foundation as well. And they're all really good and work really well together and they're all super cheap. So I think this was like $4 um, at Target. The only bad thing about this thing is I cannot find it anywhere to repurchase. Um, my Target has been out of it and um, I tried to find it on Amazon. I can't find it on Amazon. I can't find it on their website, but this is probably my all-time favorite primer and I've never heard any other beauty YouTuber talk about it. Um, I, I'm sure someone has talked about it at one point, but I've never just, I've never seen it. But it's so freaking good. Like this makes your makeup last so long, like all day. And it's prob I think it's literally, I think it's $2, maybe three, maybe four. One last primer real quick um, is the, I had a sample in one of my Ipsy bags a while ago of the Hangover RX primer by Too Faced. And I only got to use this little sample, like it's pretty small, but I really liked it. Um, but 
this is the one high-end product I have in this video but like I mean it's really good I wouldn't suggest buying the full size I think it's like $32 and I like any of the drugstore options that I just told you about work just as well if not better than it I mean it's really hydrating and like good but not good enough to spend that much more money on you know what I mean but you know what I mean like if you can get something for cheaper you might as well if it works the exact same Moving on from primers to so a few foundations that I have. I have three foundations to share with you guys. Um, the first one that I have is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Um, I really like this foundation. I repurchased it, but I sadly didn't remember what shade I had gotten. And I got a few shades too dark for me. This one's in the shade Light Beige. Um, this is one of the best con uh, concealers. One of the best foundations at the drugstore it supposedly it's conceal and perfect so apparently it's supposed to be foundation and concealer combined and i totally agree with that you could do that you don't have to use concealer with this because it has really good coverage um i enjoy full coverage and concealer so yeah it says it is medium to full coverage i would say it's more towards full coverage um, it's lightweight, oil-free, long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. It definitely is lightweight with full coverage, which is really nice and hard to find in foundations these days. Um, but it's very, like, a natural finish. It's not too dewy. It's not too matte. It's like a satin finish, and I would totally repurchase this, and I would totally suggest you guys to purchase this. It's a beautiful foundation. Next up, we have one of the things in this, um, video that I did not like, um, I still used all of it because I hate wasting things. Um, it's the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is their older one. I think they've replaced this. It has similar packaging, but it's a different like formula, so maybe that one's good. Um, but this I did not like at all. It just felt really heavy on the skin. It has pretty good packaging for it being so cheap. Um, it's glass, and it has a nice pump to it, too. But it's just the finish was just wrong. Like, it didn't... It was really thick and it has it maybe because it has it has SPF 15 in it which is nice in a foundation but it's really like it has no coverage at all which is fine I guess if you like like a sheer or light coverage but I would definitely say this is sheer almost like a tinted moisturizer which it would make more sense if they labeled it that way but it says it's a foundation so I would not repurchase this and I would not really suggest getting this. Maybe try the new one that they have. I haven't tried that one yet. If I do, I'll definitely let you guys know and do like a review or something on it. Next foundation and the last foundation I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It just looks like this. It's been all over YouTube lately. It's really good. Um, I went out on a limb and got a matte foundation even though I have dry skin. And it didn't dry me out bad. It didn't clean any dry patches on my skin. And it didn't leave me feeling like itchy and like dry and gross. But it has a nice finish. It's not too matte. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this just because I have like a lot of other foundations I want to try. Um, but I would recommend it to buy for sure because it is a good foundation. And moving on to concealers that I have empties for you guys. Um, the first one that I have is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and I'm in the shade Natural. Um, I've already repurchased this. It's super good. This is what it looks like. Um, this one looks kind of orange for me, I know. And it's really cool because it has a brush applicator tip, which I really like, and this is the first time I've ever tried, like, the blush, brush applicator thing. But it's really good, and I used this to the very last drop and repurchased it. And I totally suggest you guys to purchase it because it has good coverage, um, but it feels really lightweight and it's actually really hydrating underneath the eyes. I have this Maybelline Master Conceal uh, Concealer in the shade Light, and this is what this looks like. This is really good for spot concealing. I wouldn't necessarily suggest this for underneath the eyes because it is pretty sticky, like really sticky. And it is kind of thick, but it doesn't feel like heavy or thick on the skin. It just is like sticky. So if you went to like bake or like set with a loose powder underneath your eyes, it doesn't stick like correctly on underneath the eyes. But I would totally suggest if you have like any like problem areas or like scarring or like redness that you want to cover up, it works really well for spot concealing. So I would definitely suggest purchasing this for those like specific things if you need those things. Um, 
but it's, it's fairly cheap and it's good so i would suggest it mainly because of the coverage i don't know if i'll be repurchasing it because what can i say i'm a slave to the tarte shape tape concealer and i have a lot of other ones i want to try too one more maybelline concealer this is the maybelline fit me concealer i love 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 this concealer this is what it looks like it's in this like tube and it has a doe foot applicator on it that looks like this it's very good um i'm in the shade light again um and it's a really good for underneath the eyes so and it's good for spots concealing it's not as thick as the master conceal and it doesn't have that much it doesn't have as, as much coverage as this one master conceal but this one is a lot more um convenient for underneath the eyes and it works really well for covering dark circles so i would repurchase this one because i love this one moving on to this that i absolutely hated i don't know what it is with me and elf concealers this concealer by elf um i think it's an older one because i know they did a newer have a newer version of it but i did not like that one either this is what it looks like it looks like this i do not like it at all again if any of these products that i mentioned um that i say i don't like and you guys do like them please don't be offended because different products work for different people differently um so like if you guys liked it please don't like stop using it because i said i didn't like it or anything like that People have their own preferences, and I just like to tell you guys, just, I mean, if you guys want to know what I think about them, so there you go. I don't have many I'm going to talk about that I don't like, so, I mean, there's not many things I have negative stuff to say about, so. Moving on to, I have one powder, um, and I absolutely love this powder. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. It looks like this. It's huge. Look at that compared to my hand. Um, I've heard you can get this at Walmart. I've never seen it at my local Walmart. I order mine off Amazon. I just actually repurchased this. Um, and it's coming in the mail probably tomorrow. It's, I think it comes in actual shades. I just have mine in translucent because I feel like that's the best one. Um, and it's huge. Like, you get a lot of product in there. Um, and it's like, I think it's $10, but it's totally worth it to me at least because it's... It's very good to bake with and to set your whole face with, honestly. But I think it's best to bake with. I would totally obviously repurchase this since I already have. And I 100% suggest you guys should buy it. And I have two mascaras to talk about. I have the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara that looks like this. And this is what the wand looks like. This one was a sample size that I'm pretty sure I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, it's really good. It's not my favorite. It was a little bit flaky. It did really well lengthening, but it was kind of flaky after it stayed on for a while. Um, so I don't know if I would 100% suggest purchasing this because I know the full size is pretty expensive. So I wouldn't recommend purchasing it for you guys. I would definitely recommend like a Maybelline one or something like that over it. Or the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. That one I would suggest too. This one I had never heard of until I got it in my Ipsy bag. It's the Model Co. Company Power Lash Mascara. This is what it looks like. Um, and it's really good. I actually really liked this one. I don't know what it retails for. I'll find this was a sample in like an Ipsy or something like that. This is what the wand looks like. Um, it was actually really good. I was really impressed by it, especially since I'd never heard of them before. Um, I have two setting sprays. They're the same, but it's the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. This is my Holy Grail setting spray. This one and then the matte one is also really good. It's the exact same thing, just like a matte version. Um, I actually have already repurchased it, so I'm on my third one. These are really good. Um, I use a lot of sprays. Um, I've tried a lot of different ones. The sprayer is actually really good on this one. It evenly like distributes it across your face and doesn't like kill you with a like spritz right in the eye or something like that it just makes it go evenly across and it leaves you dewy but i feel like even people with oily skin you guys would really like this because it does dry on there and doesn't leave it like looking like oily or anything like that so but if you are oily and don't want to risk it get the matte one because i've tried it too and it's very good as well not makeup related empties um it is the i never know how to pronounce batiste batiste uh dry shampoo just the neon lights is the like scent and this is what it looks like it's so good um i use dry shampoo pretty often because i don't wash my hair it's oily really 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 quickly really quickly 
which is funny because I have dry skin, but my hair gets really oily quickly. I guess because I run my hands through it so much. Um, but this takes all the moisture out of my hair. Like this is very, very, and leaves it still looking nice. Like it still ha leaves it with some volume. Um, and I love this. It's really good. I would, and they make little minis and they have different scents too. This one smells really good. It says it smells like pomegranate and jasmine. I guess it does. I don't really pay attention, but it smells nice. So if that tells you anything, it smells good. Um, I guess maybe I wasn't putting them aside and actually just accidentally throwing them away. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other suggestions, you guys know the drill. Just let me know below if you have anything that you want to see from me. Um, if you liked this video, if you like this type of video, um, that'd be cool to let me know as well. Just so I know what you guys like watching. Um, so again, I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys. Um, follow me on my other forms of social media just to stay updated with my life. If you guys want to see like some swatches and stuff, I post them on my makeup Instagram. Um, I also have an unbagging or like an unboxing haul because I ordered a lot of stuff from Wet n Wild. Um, and I'll have that for you guys. If you guys want to see that, just give this video a thumbs up and I'll video that when I get that in for you guys. Um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. You done?